Hey there, when I review my cards, sometimes the context is not clear, so you don't really know what is there. So what I do in this case is I take something in the card and then I search for it in Google and then I take an image. This one looks good enough. Let's copy that image, edit the card. And in this case, I'm gonna put it right above here in the dictionary form. And you can see the image is added. So this works, but as you can guess, it gets very tedious if you have many cards. One cool add-on you can use is uh, batch download pictures from Google. And we're gonna install this add-on. So um, we're just gonna look at the basic usage. It has some other features, which uh, we're not gonna cover today. We might cover those in another video. So if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button, thank you. So here is the add-on key, and we're gonna go here and get the um, add-ons. You can also use the shortcut, which I normally do. And let's get the add-on, paste in the code, and it's gonna download. And uh, of course, we have to restart Anki for this stuff to work. Hopefully one day we don't have to restart Anki anymore. If we walk into the deck uh, we looked at, it's the language deck. Språk is language in origin. I'm gonna click browse, and then uh, let's go into it's called Japanese and you can see this one already has an image, but this one to eat does not have, right? So what you can do is we have selected a card and you can click the edit and then you have the add Google images right over there. Click that one. You're going to get this complicated menu. It's going to show you the source field and the one I'm going to pick is um, dictionary form. It's the taberu in this case there. So I'm gonna make sure it looks good. And it has skip by default, so we're just gonna say append, which means add it to the card. It's not gonna remove everything, so be careful. Do not pick the overwrite, just append. And here are some other options which we're just gonna ignore. In here, you have to pick the target field, and we're gonna pick the dictionary form, which is here. You can see that Urbuksform in Norwegian. And we're gonna add one image, and then uh, it's gonna be append. And then let's hit the start. And it says processed one, and you can see here it added the image. So now you see someone is eating taberu, right? If you wanted to add uh, images to all of them at once, um, this might take a moment to complete, but we're still we're just gonna do it. I'll mark all of them, the ones you want to add to, and please be careful. You might mess it up, so try to in the beginning just do one at a time. But I know which ones I want, so I just want the dictionary form, and then. Um, we want one image, append it, and it doesn't really matter how big it is. Bam, and now it's gonna process all of the notes since we selected multiple ones there. And then Anki says it processed uh, 48 notes, so it's done. And you can now see that all of them have images, right? So you just have to go through and then uh, see if the image works for you. If the image doesn't work, then you can do it again. Uh, I like uh, putting the images on a new line, so I'm just gonna fix that. Let's say you wanted to add one more image. Again, just select the one, go here on the edit and then click add Google images. And this time I want to add it to the first field. So let me pick the Norwegian field and it has one append only. And then you just wait and then bam. It's added, uh, and if we now go into the deck, you can see we have some generated images. And I personally don't like that the image is on the same line, so I usually go in and then just uh, put my cursor right before the image and then just enter, shift enter also works. And then let's close that up. And there, now we have images, right? So this one was not good, so you could, um, for the ones which are not good, you could just, uh, for example, here, go into the, um, edit, for example, remove the image and then just either flag it. So you have the flag there and then you go back to the browse and you can, you see it's flagged there and then just um, select both of them again and then uh, hit the add Google images. And this time, since the first image was so bad, let's uh, target the uh, first field and then let's add three images so we can pick one image out of them, right? And we're going to pick append and then click the start. Now it's gonna add uh, six images, I think. If we see here we have, uh, this is uh, in Norwegian to understand. So I like the one in the middle, so I'm just gonna delete the last one and then put my cursor in between, delete that one too. So I know Norwegian, so for me it's obvious, but just in case you wanted the image there too. And if we look at, um, we just have one there. And if we wanted uh, to target, uh, let's say, for example, the mass form, we would uh, also, again, select both of them and then edit, add Google images and mass form and append, looks good. And then just click, wait, sorry, I forgot, is the mass form there. So that 
that's the input, right? What it's going to search for. Just make sure you get the uh, target. And uh, so source field is probably what it's searching for in Google. And then target is where it's going to put the images. This time, three images append. And we don't care about the sizes. Just add them. Bam. Now we have a few images. So we can look at that. You can see. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we should keep the last one. So you, this is how you can get images very easily into your cards without having to manually copy paste. Thank you for watching and uh, the link for the add-on is in the description. Um, please uh, hit the like button if you haven't already and uh, thank you.